What's up guys, Aaron here, back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the just announced DJI Mavic Air drone. So stick around. Welcome back, and today at an event in New York City, DJI announced their next drone, the Mavic Air. The Mavic Air fits between the Spark and the Mavic Pro, being slightly larger than the Spark and slightly smaller than the Mavic Pro. The Mavic Air is designed with portability in mind, thanks to its compact form factor and folding arms. The Air is not only half the size of the Mavic Pro, but it's also 41% lighter as Michael Penny showcased at the event by pulling out not one, but three Mavic Airs out of the pockets of his vest. The Air features a 7 camera vision positioning system which allows it to map the area around itself while it flies and use that map to sense and avoid obstacles, and will also ship with DJI's new and improved active track and quick shot functions. The Mavic Air will also sport three new quick shot modes, Panorama, Boomerang, and an all new one called Asteroid. Using Panorama, the drone autonomously snaps and stitches a series of photos together to create a wide sweeping shot and can also create a spherical panorama which folds the shot into a nice looking global shape. In asteroid mode, the drone creates one of those spherical panoramas, then zooms back towards you. The end result is a super zoom effect that ends with a selfie. The Mavic Air features a 1 2 3rd CMOS sensor and a 34mm lens. The Air is capable of shooting 13 megapixel stills and shoot 4K 100 megabyte per second video at 30 frames per second. Not the rumored 60 frames per second, but still very nice. The camera sits inside a new and improved 3-axis gimbal system that not only provides stabilization, but also helps protect the camera during flight and transport, which is a known issue with the Mavic Pro. The Mavic Air can fly faster and longer than the Mavic Pro. It can go up to 42.5 miles per hour and can stay airborne for 21 minutes on a single charge. It also has 8 gigabytes of internal storage. The Air can handle up to 22 miles per hour of wind speeds and can climb up to 16,000 feet. The Air is available in three different colors, onyx black, flame red, or arctic white. The Air will also be able to shoot 120 frame per second slow motion in 1080p. It's going to cost you $799 for the Air itself or $999 for the combo pack. The drone includes a newly designed controller, various RC cables to connect to a smartphone, an intelligent flight battery and charger, four spare propellers and propeller guards, a travel case, a power cable, along with a user's guide. The combo pack includes two extra batteries for an hour of extra flight time, extra propellers, and a few other things. The Mavic Air is available for pre-order today and ships January 28th. Now I think this is going to be a great sized drone for taking with you, and DJI fixed a few things that we weren't satisfied with with the Spark, such as not having a 4K camera and a foldable design to name a few. Let me know down in the comments section below what you think about the Maverick Air, and let me know if you're going to be picking one up on January 28th. Anyways guys, that's going to do it for me in this quick video. Don't forget to drop a like rating down below, and subscribe to the channel to be notified of future content. As I mentioned earlier, my name is Aaron, and I'll see you guys on the next one.